to the fence, guy. Ah, I never go on the other side of this harmonica for a reason. That was annoying. Hey, y'all. So, I want to talk today about, oh, yeah, high demand, low supply living situations like San Francisco. I know, super sexy way to start the morning with a little economics, but let's make this thing happen. Trust me. Stay with me. When you have high demand, low supply, it raises the price of everything. You have a huge amount of people that want to be here, low amount of ways for them to be here, which is awesome. It is spectacular. It is the best thing ever. Now, why would I say that? I'm not saying it because I'm some kind of elitist asshole. I'm simply saying is that it raises the barrier to entry, which is nice. Why is it nice? Well, it makes sure every single person that wants to be in an area, well, like San Francisco, wants to be here. You freaking yearn to. You are Mr. I love San Francisco. Well, not in such a manner, but you get what I'm talking about. And why is that good? You have a greater abundance of awesome when you have those kind of people around. Those kind of people demand high quality labor, high quality businesses, high quality nightlife, high quality housing, whatever. It, it raises the bar on every single part of your living situation. I can definitely say in San Francisco that all my friends that are here and live in the town are just GSDPs, the get shit done peoples. And it is, oh, love them, love them to death. Because it's so inspiring. When you're next to a GSDP, oh man, it is like you have a symbiosis happening. You can just feed off each other's energy. You can throw ideas at folks and they just kick them back and then you can just go and go and go in the perpetual cycle of ass kicking. It makes me want to cry if I had tear ducts. But I don't, people. I don't have that kind of thing. But what I do have is an overabundance of appreciation and satisfaction for where I live. And that's what I want you all to kind of consider a little bit. How about you do a little analysis as to where you live? It's important because do the people around you, do those folks that you talk to or, or listen to every single day share your point of view on life, your outlook, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations? And then what are you doing, if you don't like it, to change it? That's what I want you all to think about. That's what I want you all to be enjoying the fact that you, you, have the power to decide who you're with and where you are at all times. So are you facilitating the best you can be? Are you facilitating the area that supports you the best? Let me know below in the comments what you think. But I guarantee you all have a little thinking to do. So with that, lots of love and appreciation. Thank you so much. I'm only like 40-something away from a 1,000 subs. So I'm trying to come up with a hell of an idea for a 1,000. But whew. Lord help me. I will figure out something interesting. Trust me. With that, you guys, thank you so much and have a wonderful Tuesday. I will talk to you all later.